here. You're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Not the landlord. Uh, okay. I'll disinfect my tools. Fashionable. Kratos? He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you, tall, godly? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <clears throat> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed ratted Hosker. The one you know as ratted Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this regimen for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot.
that seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Wait, are those... Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Definitely something more going on here. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, feels like there was something else.
There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Seeing you, Lloyd the oh. Sax, again. Hey, you brought. I think it means. Seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even a key. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mimir. I would speak with you. Here. You know that imposter? Speak. Of if you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any questions before you travel on? Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfron was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seem better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. 
Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Some pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? <laughs> yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? The twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. <laughs> Majestic. Oh! I didn't know it could do that. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please. You don't need to do no. this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. Most unfortunate. Attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. 
He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, there. Well, among the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good. I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Weird. They usually work. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Ah! Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. <laughs> After the creation of the Nine Realms, Fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the light elves were born. Imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Speak. 
Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may just to let these two do their thing, brother. souls here they came across on light bridges but now the bridges are gone i have an idea to get us across <laughs> lucky for us swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture this way the shrine awaits <laughs> Looking around, he does this. Ah, a curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible <gasps> price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Perhaps a higher vantage point is needed. Another of Cavassier's poems. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back.
Get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent, yes. Lyricism from the mind of Thrasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Tyr can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight. 
Twilight Stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. We can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. My door! He's coming! Noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, crystals don't make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. quicker, I think. And here we go Oh, my God. 
than I remember. Hmm. <gasps> fair few bugs you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. <clears throat> Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well... I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they are.
Here, the last time we were here, we killed the dog. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Spartan. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There. The central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. If we allow me to speed this up, the angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, uh, the might of Alpine. Hear mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he said you he went inside the light of Alfheim. Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos. What did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least.
father, she's... She's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elves came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Here? Yes. We helped the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. May it strike true. <laughs> 